Hey everybody, Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Well, actually, I'm obviously not at Apple Valley Farm. I'm in my truck. I'm in town because last night my random orbit sander just, it just died on me. So <laughs> I guess we just worked it to death. It just couldn't handle it. Normally we get the Ryobi tools, but the store where I get my tools at, they're not open this early in the morning because it's pretty early. Um, so I'm doing the unthinkable. I'm at Walmart. <laughs> so... I'm coming here. I'm going to try these tools. I see them all the time. These, what what are they? Hyper Tough and something. I can't remember what, I can't remember what they're called, but I'm going to go get one and we're going to give it a try and we'll, uh, we'll do it together. Uh, I have no idea what we're about to get into. I hope this is a decent purchase. Let's just see. And then we'll see. <laughs> all right, let's go get one. That's a cordless. Oh boy. We got the hyper tough. Is this it? That's it. I reckon that'll do. 1988. Wow. What in the world? <laughs> All right, we're back home. Here we go. We got the uh, Hyper Tough 2.5 amp orbital sander. I'm a little concerned because I've always, I've always gotten a random orbit sander. So I don't know if there's a difference between a random orbit sander and an orbital sander. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, vacuum hose adapter. That's good. Soft, comfortable grip. Dust collection bag, five inch hook and loop sanding pad. Okay, let's open it up, give it a try. How bad can it be? All right, let's, um, let's see what we got here. All right, there's the contents of the box. I assume this is some kind of adapter here, yeah. This is obviously the dust collection bag. Instructions, which we probably will never look into. And here we go. All right. It does not spin freely. My other one always did. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. That's okay. Um, all right. So we'll have the bag here if we don't want to use our shop vac. That's okay. Um, button here on the front and it is sealed for dust protection. That's, that's nice. I'm used to it being on the side. I will say this, okay? I can already tell you, I hold it like this, which I mean, this, it's a grip here. So you're going to hold it like this. Where are the, the vents? They're right here at my thumb and they're right here at my fingers. That was not, not a very smart design. I could hold it like this. Uh, sometimes I will if I need a little more stability. Let's make sure our pad goes on here. See if we can line up some holes. There we go. Yeah. It fits just right. All right. Let's plug it up. See what she'll do. Okay, so number one, just FYI, I usually use the shop vac when I'm sanding. Um, so I thought, well, let's just go ahead and give this a try. I took the bag off, put the adapter on right here. Seems to work pretty intuitively. Uh, I've got a standard shop vac hookup here. It goes right in there. However, it is a very loose fit. I don't think that's going to work because as I move around, it's probably going to pull out. But we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try. Okay, so let's 
try this out on a variety of materials. One is just a pre-surfaced one by four. It's something that we use quite often. Uh, another is a uh, reclaimed pallet board. This is another something that we use pretty often. That's pretty rough. And then we've got an old piece of poplar uh, that we'll make a charcuterie board out of. And so this will need to be sanded pretty well. And I usually do it with my random orbit sander. So we're gonna give it a try, starting with the least aggressive first, and we're just gonna see how it works. What I typically do is I'm not really worried about the face, but a lot of times I'll just use the sander to knock off these edges and give me a little soft appearance and then to get the ends right here. So let's just do that real quick, and I'm expecting that it should do pretty well on that. <laughs> So that works, you know, pretty well as expected. Not a lot of uh, expectation there, not a lot of requirement there, but it does what I need it to do. Um, okay, we'll give that a thumbs up. Let's move on to something a little more aggressive and that is our pallet board. This is pretty rough as they usually are. And if we don't plane this, then we'll use the sander to really knock the stuff off of it. So let's just see what it does um, with this surface right here. Let's see if it bogs it down a little bit. Maybe it will do a great job. Okay, as I feared, yeah, the hose is already pulled out. And that's, this is, this is a big thumbs down right here. This is worthless to me. We'll put the bag back on here. Anyway, it seemed to uh, handle this very well. Didn't bog down. One thing that I'm gonna have to look into is the RPMs, I don't know if this is normal or not, but it seems to be spinning very, very slow compared to the Ryobi that I had. I'll dig into that and see what I can find out. Yeah, I mean, it's doing the job. It just seems to be very slow. On one hand, it's easier to control because if the Ryobi, if it's going 90 to nothing, that thing can get away from you really fast. This doesn't seem to have that problem, but for real aggressive situations like what we're gonna do with the poplar, that might be a hindrance. Okay, let's give this a semi thumbs up. That's pretty good. I'm just concerned about the speed. Let's move on to something else. All right, as I said, now we've got uh, this piece of poplar it's very old, it's rough sawn. We've got a lot of big, deep, uh, circular saw marks, as you can see in this. This is gonna require some really aggressive treatment for us to get it the way that we would normally want it to be. So, let's see what the old HyperTuff does with this. This, um, I think this actually did a really nice job. Um, it gave us the result that I would typically want, which is something that's smooth to the touch. This, as I said, this was a really aggressive surface and this really did a good job. So the HyperTuff, I think it passed the test. I'm actually surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised with it. Wow. Um, wow, I, I would give it a solid thumbs up on this. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, I am, I am humbled. I honestly 
thought I was going to get this thing, this $19.88 sander. I was going to bring it home and I was going to say, oh my lord, what a piece of crap. I, I did not expect this. It seems to work very well. Um, it doesn't have a lot of vibration, which I was worried about. It's not overly loud, which I was worried about. I am concerned about the speed, but that just could be because I'm just not used to it. It's not heavy. It feels solid. <laughs> I don't have anything bad to say about it. I really don't. Oh, it's got a two-year limited warranty. I, I, I may just have to, I don't know, we'll have to look at this long-term. So maybe I might come back three or six months from now and do a follow-up with you on this. But the HyperTuff Random, or I should say HyperTuff Orbit Sander, the corded Orbit Sander, I would give it a thumbs up. I would say drop 20 bucks and go try it out. So far, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So thanks a lot, HyperTuff and Walmart. And um, wow, thank you guys for hanging out here with me for a few minutes. I hope this was helpful. It was definitely helpful to me and I had to have a sander today anyway. So that worked out just right. But thanks a lot for hanging out here today. Hey, if you like this video, like this video, give us a thumbs up, um, leave us a comment, tell your friends about us, and definitely subscribe to our channel. We're doing stuff like this all the time. But hey, I'm gonna go get some work done now. <laughs> what a concept, right? Thanks a lot for being here, take care. Till next time, I'll see you.